So how do we tell the computer to put files in here? We can't just like drag and drop them up here. We need to actually connect to the web server and make our computers talk to each other and copy the files. So to do this, we're gonna go into Dreamweaver. Now Dreamweaver is made to make websites, so it should have the ability to connect to a web server and upload to that web server. The biggest thing about it is that we need to actually manage our files. So something we've kind of not looked at before is this file panel over here. There's a files panel where in Dreamweaver, you can actually manage your files and create information for Dreamweaver to connect full folders to a web server. So under files, you can navigate through here to find your files on your computer by clicking the drop down arrows and looking through things. But things can get pretty convoluted as you look through here and it can really start branching down into really deep files. Instead, what we can do is we can manage our files. And when you click manage, it's going to open up the sites option. You can also click this drop down menu here and hit manage sites, and this will open the same dialog box. We're going to create a site in here that we can go to that navigates to a very specific folder. So that way we're only seeing the files in that folder. And this is where file management becomes really important. We've talked about this before, how on your computer, you should have a folder that is dedicated to Digital Design 1 and then a folder that is also dedicated to your different websites. So I have a Digital Design 1 folder and in it I have a foods website, a personal website, and then I have practice pages. If you've been putting all these in random locations or you've been putting them in different folders like some are in your pictures, some are in your documents, some are in your downloads, you're going to have a really hard time when it comes to putting this on the web. Everything needs to be in one folder. So you can see I have a foods website folder. I can open it up. I have everything for it. My index, least favorite food, food styles, favorite recipe, and favorite food pages are all next to each other. And they're all sitting next to my assets folder, which then contains my food header image. If you don't have a folder that contains all this information, you need to stop right now and go fix your file management and get them all in the same spot. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna link to that folder. So we're going to create a new site under Manage Sites, and we're going to name this your last name, Foods Website. Or actually, you can just go Foods Site and then your last name. And then what we're going to do, that's just for us. I mean, this is nothing that's going to be shown up there. This is actually the words that are going to show up in this drop-down menu up here for you to be able to navigate to the folders for this site. But we're then going to say, where is the files for this site? Where are they located? So I'm going to browse through a folder, and I'm going to go to my drive and find my Digital Design 1 folder, my foods website. And then once I've selected and I'm inside it, and you haven't selected anything else, you can then select that folder. So you're telling the computer, okay, I want you to show me the folder in this PC under downloads, Digital Design 1 foods website, and I want to see the files for that. Inside that folder is going to be everything I need for my foods website. So that's what you're telling the computer by selecting this folder. You're then going to go ahead and save it. And then you're going to have your food site and then you can click done. What's really cool is right now your files has now changed to say up here food site and then your name. And now you have all your files for your website all showing in one spot. If you wanted to and you had multiple websites, you can navigate between them. You can see I have other websites like a notes website from a previous class. And so I can navigate to that and see my stuff. I can then go back to food site Sylvius and see the files for that. But what's also important about this is now I have the ability to take this folder and connect it to the web server. So you can see the next thing that pops up for me is the ability to find a server. So that way I can show the computer where to host this and I can upload directly from Dreamweaver to that web server.